All right, as I keep saying, everything but the kitchen sink next week across the country is we're going to be tracking a storm in the California this weekend that moves into the Plain States. Look at the highlights as we move forward next week. We begin, well, we can go anywhere you want. Let's start in the north, in the northern areas where we're looking at a blizzard across the Dakotas. That'll shut down travel more on that in a second. There's also going to be a severe weather outbreak from Missouri all the way down in the Central Gulf Coast states. And on the, that'll be on Tuesday, Tuesday night, maybe starting as early as Monday night. Uh, meanwhile, there will be a flood threat on the northern and eastern edge of the severe weather threat where we've had heavy rain all week across Kentucky and Tennessee. And then late in the week, because this upper level low is going to move east, there's going to be a threat for snow and ice. Interior sections in the northeast, I think, it is north and west of the I-95 corridor, but stay tuned. Thursday and Friday, we are looking at snow and ice in the northeast. All right, where's this storm now? Here, I have it circled for you. It's off the west coast. And you can see, notice how everything's just diving south and east. What does that mean? That means there's lots of energy on the southern side of this storm just pooling it southward. As I mentioned, this is going to wallop California, especially in the Siskiyou's and the Sierra where we're looking at feet of snow. And then by the time we get into Tuesday, this system will be in the Plain State's upper level lows. Do what? m and mischief and mayhem. And as we mentioned, lots of impacts with this storm. Let's take it one by one. On the southeastern side of this storm, there is going to be the threat for severe weather. We have adjusted that severe weather threat a little farther to the west to cover for the possibility of severe thunderstorms Monday night along the I-35 corridor that would include Oklahoma City and Dallas. I think there's a larger or a greater threat for severe weather as we get into Tuesday East Texas into the Mid-South. Now, if you're in any of these colors, the yellow and the orange, you have to be prepared for all of these impacts. Torrential downpours, hail, damaging winds with an AccuWeather local storm max of 80 miles per hour and tornadoes. We are considering adding a high risk area in here. Now, what does that mean? That means widespread severe thunderstorms. Let me show you where that's gonna be. If we do it, and we're considering it, it'll be from East Texas, Southern parts of Arkansas, Northern Louisiana, Western Tennessee, and in the Northern Mississippi, and here's why. This is where we believe there will be a risk for tornadoes because there's a unique set of conditions setting up in this area and the conditions deal with the changing wind direction with height. West-southwest winds in the middle part of the atmosphere and then south-southeast in the lower part of the atmosphere. So if you have a changing wind direction with height, what happens? You get the thunderstorms to do what? Spin. It's the spinning thunderstorms that to produce the tornadoes. That's the difference. If you have a wind direction that is uniform with height, you get damaging straight line winds. If the wind varies with height, you can get tornadoes. That's the concern in this area Tuesday, Tuesday night. Now, as we mentioned on the northern side of this storm, cold enough air for snow. I think we're going to pick up quite a bit of snow into the mountains of Wyoming, Colorado, and then the storm comes out into the Plain States and the snow will be uh, heavy here as well and then we're going to add wind into the equation where we're going to have sustained winds and gusts well over 35 miles per hour with heavy snow and visibilities of a quarter mile or less. I just told you the uh, ingredients or what the impacts are for a blizzard which I think we're going to see those impacts again for three at least three straight hours you need winds of uh, gusts or sustained winds of at least 35 miles per hour and visibilities of a quarter mile or less in this area. And that could be with snow or blowing snow. We think there's going to be heavy snow. I wouldn't be shocked if Interstates 90 and 94 are shut down across the Dakotas. That upper low then moves eastward. There will be some snow with this across the Midwest, but we are getting increasingly concerned. We've been talking about this area since, since last week of accumulating snow and ice west of the I-95 corridor as we get in the Thursday and Friday through the Northeast. So this storm is going to have impacts from coast to coast this weekend in California and then next week in Central and in the Eastern United States. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
Check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.